so I've talked about how well the Windows 7 how keep how possible it is to control Windows with only just touch your touch in the face but of course there are a lot of problems the main thing here is most Windows programs are not meant when the when they were de developed they, the developers didn't really have any idea expect anyone to use their program where and not have access to a keyboard for example the prime uh, the prime suspect are games games on a Windows PC would definitely be expecting that the user have access to a real keyboard and mouse and let's see what happens Now this Plants vs Zombies is uh, really a primarily uh, mouse driven application. So when I'm in the game, everything really works just fine. The 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 the, 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 the just poke everyone. Okay, let's rock. So gameplay wise everything works it's just like it's just another windows system anyway so everything works it's a, it plays everything's fine so what's the big problem well the big problem is when the program expects a keyboard where for example just quit out from here if I want to create a new user. Huh. How do I enter text? There is no way to access the soft keyboard in this case because this is a game, it has taken control over the screen, there is no way to overlay the soft keyboard. The game itself, it has not expected that the, the user does not have access to a physical keyboard. So basically, you're screwed. Simple as that. So that's one of the, this issue will be, uh, you can see this same problem throughout many of the other programs and so you need to be more familiar with them. For example, here I have a PDF reader and it works, let me just go and view full screen. Now, if I didn't enable this close full screen button, so it's just and like any other PDF viewer, left click will move me through the pages. Now if I want to quit full screen, if I hold down right click, it moves back. So what just happened here? The problem is that the PDF viewer program does not expect someone to have no access to a keyboard. So they are expecting someone to press escape to quit out from the full screen view. I have enabled a little tab here to do close full screen manually but of course if I didn't it would be just an empty screen like this and you're basically trapped but luckily this is still a Windows program unlike a game where your where it overlays its graphics I can just call up the soft keyboard from the side switch to keyboard mode and then just pop escape to quit back out so that's one of the other problems the final problem is when you have programs which don't follow Windows guidelines when they're when they're being created. Those are really very irritating. The prime suspect that I have for a demo today is Skype. Now you notice that for other Windows, the my command buttons are big, but for Skype, it's small. And here's another little interesting fact. It doesn't want to interact properly. For some reason, it just doesn't respond properly to touch. Being touched by either the, the a direct touch or even the mouse touching on it. It's really weird. I don't think you run into a lot of problems like this, but that that's one of the other issues to be aware of. 
there are programs out there that generally don't play well at all with touch on the Windows PC so if you are using Windows without a keyboard you might run into some problems and uh, so it's not really perfect it's not a perfect world but um, to say that Windows is not usable at all as a touch only system well that's a pretty long shot 